This is a demo that's been created by the community on molehillgaming.com. This is the kind of content that you will see more and more, and you can see the CP usage is like uh, nothing, like you hear 8%. This new feature, the codename is, is Molehill, and the idea is to give access to developers to hardware 3D GPU acceleration. People have wanted 3D in Flash since probably the first or second version of Flash, and people have been emulating 3D in Flash by hand, meticulously, painfully for a long time. And really the breakthrough in this release is we decided to have an API separate from the display list that is basically its own world. And an action script is now fast enough that you can do a lot of stuff in the scripting language rather than having to bake it into the player. It's literally a new way to render and it's a new design architecture inside Flash. So the developer is coding against a single set of APIs that we call the Molten APIs. And then we do the magic under the hood. You have to make a lot of choices on what you put in the API, what you allow people to do, and the even harder choice is what you do not include in the API. We actually made the API tailored to what we can do on, on mobile devices. So once you author it content on the desktop, you're not using features that can never work on a mobile device. <laughs> what we do is directly send the pixel from the GPU on the screen on this uh, GPU surface that we call Stage 3D. You could actually build interactive characters that walk around, interactive product models. Fundamentally, Molehill isn't so much a 3D API, it's an interface to the GPU, a secure cross-platform way to access very, very fast, massively parallel hardware. All the particles, the movements, is done on the GPU through vertex skinning. That's why it's going to change a lot of things, because you get the power of Molehill with this new rendering architecture, plus all the features that you have in Flash. Suddenly, if you author 3D content, everybody can watch it. You'll be able to use those 3D APIs to basically do anything on screen. All these games that exist in 3D now and that can be done, now it can be moved to the Flash player, but it's also 2D games. I'm really excited about the notion that existing 2D games will get way faster, way more expressive. So actually, there's no limits on what you're going to be able to do with Molehill.